Everybody sees pictures of my dogs in snow and think they were born to it. Well, if truth be known, they need a little nudging sometimes. Now, here's what these guys do sometimes. Eddie starts it. He hides. Because he really doesn't like putting on a coat. He doesn't mind outside as much. It's just the coat and booties ritual he doesn't like doing. Um, so what do I do? Do I give up and say, okay, you don't have to go for a walk? No. Since Eddie has been one year old, I've been just making him do it. This is our secret, fleece booties. They're light, comfortable, and keep their pads off the icy surface. I lay the booties and coats out in assembly line fashion so it's no fuss to get them on quickly and painlessly. And now I just want to make it as pleasurable as possible. One booty on, more treats. We still got three to go. He's not fighting me, but I'm still trying to make it fun. Now we have wood floors and frankly they're not real comfortable to walk in. So I'm not going to make Eddie walk in them. I'm going to carry him over the front door and set him right there. All right, guys, let's go to the park. There's my good girl. Hey, you want to do a spin? Do you spin? Good. Other way? Good. There's my good boy, Rusty. My goal is to keep the walks fun, and that means lots of treats. Okay, guys, let's go mountain. Who wants to go up the mountain? You? Who wants to go mountain? It's a pretty big mountain. Okay, ready? Let's go mountain. Good girl. Go mountain, Jilly. Go mountain. Mountain. Let's go. Yay! Yay! There's my good girl. There's my good girl. You made it to the top. My other secret is to keep them moving. Coats and booties alone aren't usually enough. You have to keep their blood pumping, much like an athlete in a winter race. Here's the sign that you didn't push them too far on a cold day. They've got pretty much the same enthusiasm going back home as they did going out. No more, no less. Even Rusty's doing okay. I love their shadows. I probably gave them 20 treats on this trip. Little tiny ones. Just enough to make their mouth water. Not even big enough to chew. And as soon as we get home, the booties will come off and uh, they'll get more. Good. Good. Good boy. I'm going to take off your booties, okay? And here's Jilly's booties. You can see they're wet. And you know what? If I squeeze them, actually squeeze them, water's not coming out. Sometimes they will. But they still keep, her, keep the pad off the snow. And that's all we're trying. This isn't cold. And that's what's been touching the snow. Yorkies weren't built for the snow and cold. They're not always going to love it but they should be able to tolerate it for short periods of time so they can get their winter exercise. Good luck.